Hello, hello, hello. About 1.5 million students in India took the infamous JEE main exam. About 225,000 of them will take the advanced JEE exam on September 27, which is a week from today. All of you who take that exam have my blessings. My thoughts will be with you that day. My heart will be with you that day. And perhaps even some of my brains will be with you that day. That may help. Of those 225, about 12,000 will make it to an IIT, because that's the objective, to be, op to be accepted at an IIT university. There are 16 IIT universities in India. So the bottom line is then, if my numbers are correct, that only 0.8%, less than 1%, of the 1.5 million who took the JEE main exam will be accepted at an IIT. All those 80, not 80, all those 99.2% who will not end up on an IIT are not failures. They may think of themselves as failures and some of their family members may think that, but it's a complete absurdity. It's insane to think that way when you don't end up at an IIT you are not a failure. Don't even think about that. So my thoughts will be with the 225,000 on September 27. Indians are obsessed by the JEE exams for good reason, because they do want, they all want to be accepted at an IIT. But roughly, IITs can only take about eight, each IIT can only take about 800 to about 1,000 students every year. That's just the way it is, just like only about 1,000 students can be accepted every year by MIT, which is the university where I lectured for 43 years. Those are facts of life. If Americans don't get accepted or any other person in the world by MIT, they are not failures. They just didn't get accepted. <laughs> yeah. So, if you don't get accepted by an IIT, you are not a failure. You'll be my friend for the rest of your life, regardless of your color, regardless of your gender, regardless of your age, regardless of your religion. And for me, you will never be a failure. Have a nice day and take care. I love you all. <laughs>